Today on Upfront, game on your likely November 2016 major party presidential choices. Clinton versus Trump. Next, the latest sign Wisconsin will be a key battleground state. Plus, Bernie Sanders supporters, will they back Hillary Clinton enthusiastically? Then, rough roads ahead, why state leaders appear at odds over a big fix. And hanging in the balance, Lake Michigan homes threatened by erosion, the scope of the problem, and the help available. Covering the issues important to Wisconsin, this is Upfront with Mike Goucher. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Upfront. We're already seeing evidence that Wisconsin will once again be a battleground state in the November election. President Obama and presumptive Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton will be in Wisconsin together later this week. In their first joint campaign stops of the 2016 cycle, the president and Secretary Clinton will be in Ohio on Monday, Pennsylvania on Tuesday, and in Green Bay on Wednesday. Obama endorsed Clinton in this video released Thursday, shortly after he met with Senator Bernie Sanders. Sanders is vowing to continue on through Tuesday's primary in Washington, D.C., but says he'll work with Clinton to defeat Donald Trump. So after a divisive and sometimes bitter primary, what's next for Bernie Sanders supporters? Can they get behind Hillary Clinton? We're asking State Representative Jonathan Brostoff of Milwaukee, a Sanders supporter and a delegate to this summer's Democratic National Convention. Representative, good to have you on the program. Good to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, first of all, let's talk about what appears to be the move towards Hillary Clinton now being the presumptive nominee. How, how do you feel about that? As a guy who was one of the first people out of the blocks to, to support Bernie Sanders, how do you feel about that? Well, I think that there's an important lesson we can actually draw from Bernie Sanders himself, who said that Hillary Clinton on her worst day is going to be a world better than Donald Trump or any of the Republican nominees at that time on their best days. So I think that's kind of the perspective I'm bringing to it. And as I say, it's much better to build a bridge than build a wall. Are you excited about her? as the nominee, honestly? Uh, I'm definitely excited about uh, moving forward with some of the um, positions that she's uh, now uh, really gotten behind. She wants to raise minimum wage. Uh, she's been talking about uh, maybe some reforms on some of her fracking policies, which yeah, is very exciting. But um, overall, I have to say, the energy that the uh, Sanders campaign has brought nationwide, but also to Wisconsin, I think will carry on even past uh, whatever happens uh, at um, our uh, convention because, I mean, just earlier today I was speaking with people from all over the state who are so energized and inspired by the Bernie Sanders campaign that they even, you know, even though they haven't been involved in politics, they are now working on state elections, running themselves, uh, helping get their friends elected, helping organize in their communities. And I'm actually planning to go visit uh, some folks across the state and meet up and hang out with some of the other kind of, uh, with, you know, the, the burners across right. Wisconsin. So, yeah, I think the excitement is carrying through and that energy will be translated to the White House and beyond. I was going to say, so, so these newcomers you're talking about here, mm -hmm. You think they can get behind Hillary Clinton? It may take a little time, but they can get behind her. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, the distinction is very clear. And as Bernie said, Hillary on her worst day, much better than uh, Donald on his best day. And I think uh, it is a, uh, a stark, stark contrast between the two. But I also think, again, uh, there's a lot of other opportunities to get involved statewide where it doesn't just have to be a one race, one time. And the energy, especially a lot of the younger folks who felt kind of disenfranchised and kind of uh, done with the whole politics scene are now really uh, energized and mobilized in a way that's still very exciting to me. But we want to keep that energy engaged in a positive way. As you look back at, at the process, the primary process, was it fair? Was it rigged? Did Bernie Sanders have a real shot at this? Or because we do the superdelegates in the Democratic Party, was it really his to win? I definitely think uh, he, I, I would say he definitely had a shot. And I think that if you look from the beginning where he started, someone who's relatively unknown yeah. nationwide, and, and the, the way that he's moved forward, the way that he's gotten uh, some national traction, and the way that a lot of his policies have been advanced uh, is very exciting and telling of how um, engaging our process is versus someone like 
the Republicans who, you know, what are they saying? Well, we have someone who we're admitting the comments he's saying are racist, but we should still get behind this guy. Now, that's kind of the stark contrast. We can actually move our message. We can push on the important issues of the progressive wing of, on our party versus a party that says, well, we got a racist, you know, comments at the top, and this one, I guess we still got to get behind him. And these are people months earlier who were saying, never Trump, we're never going to work with this guy. He's the worst person, you know, that we could hope for as our nominee. So, um, I think it's a great time to uh, push that agenda, but I also look forward to the implications down ticket across the state of Wisconsin and also across the country. Uh, I got to ask you about the super delegate uh, sure. um, awarding that yep. was done to prevent major defeats. Um, but is it something that needs to be looked at again? Would you like to see an end to the superdelegate process? Absolutely, we need to look at it. I think, uh, I, I mean, I basically agree with Russ Feingold on this and, you know, another great uh, soon-to-be senator in our state again. But I think uh, there's got to be um, some some great opportunities to grow the party moving forward on this. But we also want to make sure we're not uh, pushing out a lot of people who, um, really want to engage, want to be part of the process, want to help, but feel like they're being disenfranchised. So yeah, there needs to be some reform made. Uh, I look forward to being at the convention in Philadelphia, and I hope we can uh, get some traction there. I've got about 10 seconds left. Anybody you would like to see be uh, Hillary Clinton's vice presidential choice? Uh, would Bernie Sanders be someone you think would even be considered, or is it somebody else? Um, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I think Bernie could do a lot of good on the national ticket. Uh, I also think someone like Elizabeth Warren is very exciting for me personally. But, um, you know, again, I'm just excited. We don't have to have a Trump at the top of the ticket. <laughs> Jonathan Brostoff <laughs> is a representative, state representative from Milwaukee and a delegate to the Democratic National Convention. It's good to have you on the program. Thanks, Mike. You bet. And as we've been talking about, uh, more than a few Sanders supporters have been unhappy about the role of Democratic superdelegates this year. Most superdelegates are backing Hillary Clinton. So just why do Democrats have superdelegates, something not seen on the Republican side? I've posted an explanation with historical background on our Upfront Facebook page. Take a look and then like and share Upfront on Facebook. And our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, will keep you on top of all state election developments throughout the year. Just check out the election blog at WISPolitics.com. Coming up later on Upfront, I'll have some thoughts on whether Wisconsin will retain its presidential battleground status through November. But first, no easy fix for crumbling roads. Why money for transportation is shaping up as a major budget battle. That's when Upfront continues. Upfront with Mike Goucher, brought to you by the American Transmission Company and the Wisconsin Corn Growers Association.